How many times do you masturbate a week? <laughs> oh, we're getting personal. Well, I am single. Like, almost every day. <laughs> you get guilty when you masturbate? When I was younger, yes. So it was like, oh man, this was fucking amazing. But then I'm like, fuck, this is so wrong of me. What kind of Catholic am I? Like our deceased uh, family members, that their their watch. spirits might linger or they watch you, right? Yeah. They're watching you from like heaven. So then I'd be like, oh yes, feel so good. Oh my God, is my uncle and my fucking tío and my tía and my fucking abuelito and abuelita, are they like watching me? Why don't you just go underneath the blanket? They're ghosts. Like they could see through this. <laughs> everyone, everyone does it. <laughs> Number 22, do you That's masturbate? True. Yes, everyone masturbates. Even when you're in a relationship, you masturbate because sometimes they're not always there. And you're like, God, I need a DJ. How many times do you masturbate a week? Three to ten times. So I will simulate myself, my clitoris and my vagina, and I reach that point and stop. And then I breathe and really try to relax inside. And what happens after a few times is that it feels like stronger and deeper orgasm. So that was my tip for you today. Enjoy! What about sex? There's never gonna be sex on Mars. How do you feel about that? It's not a big problem for me not to have sex for... Um, definitely. Um, I don't wanna... How, how can I say it? Can I say it? I feel kind of shy to say it. It's just, you can satisfy yourself. <laughs> So what do you guys think about masturbation? Well, not my favorite like thing to do. I prefer to go to the other, honestly. <laughs> to drink. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't do it, really? So do you masturbate? I used to do it a lot when I was young. Why do you masturbate then? Because of Ryan Gosling. Yeah. What? Ryan Gosling? We've, we've had that answer tonight, actually. Really? Yeah. Ryan Gosling is awesome. So I'm, I'm guessing that answers my next question of who? Ryan yeah. Gosling. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So both you, Ryan Gosling, when you masturbate? Yeah. yeah. And Jason Statham, he's awesome. And even the way I'm not coming out and saying the words right now is like what we're growing up with. Masturbate! <laughs> I'll masturbate more like if I'm really stressed about things or um, sometimes if I'm like tired and I just want like, a peaceful, <laughs> relaxing sleep, I will. It's definitely faster for me to come by myself than with a partner. Aha! Uh -huh. See, it's the opposite with me. <laughs> really, in a way, it's empowering mm -hmm. that you know about your body and mm -hmm. that, you know... And that you're self-sufficient. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I like the fact that I can have orgasms with just my hand. I was like maybe four. <laughs> I was really little. You're so lucky. I think <laughs> you're so, so lucky. lucky. I do. Yeah, I'm an expert at it now. <laughs> I haven't slept with a lot of guys. Um, and I, I don't go out looking for sex all the time. Well, usually I just don't. Like, usually I just masturbate, so. <laughs> I'm super behind on lady masturbation. In terms of what you think about while you're masturbating, I think about guys being um, attracted to me physically and being really nice to me. The weirdest person I fantasize about has to be Kurt Russell. Sometimes right after I finish, like my cat's face will just pop into my head for no reason. I've never pictured anybody I know either. I have masturbated right after sex when the sex is He really gave it his all, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean up. I'm not about to leave here without getting mine. So, you know, you have to do quick style and get to the point because, you know, it hurts their feelings. I got caught masturbating once by my boyfriend. I've never been caught masturbating, but my mom did get suspicious when I took a three-hour bath. The best way to not get caught masturbating is to limit your movement. I've uh, mastered the uh, below the knuckle. If I have a mental block, sometimes, you know, if you go downstairs, it'll really make you think.
So I feel like this is where a lot of people start saying, oh, I don't have a G-spot, I don't know where it is, is if you put your finger inside of yourself and you're not turned on, you haven't actually gotten erectile tissue. Mine feels like it's got little um, bumpy ridges all over it. I actually like now exploring my G-spot without touching my clitoris first. Sometimes up and down feels good, sometimes circles feels good, sometimes tapping feels good. Now that's a big secret of the G-spot is it can take 20 minutes of stimulation before you have an orgasm and it's not like a clitoral orgasm necessarily. So the clitoris, for pretty much all women, when you touch the clitoris, it's definitely pleasure and you feel a buildup, a buildup, a buildup of pleasure and then almost like a firework explosion. The G-spot can be very different. I'm Natalie. The conversation tonight is masturbation. Okay. Like on an average day once, right? Yeah. That's what you're saying. But maybe on like a good day, maybe. Oh yeah, sometimes like seven. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you <laughs> I mean, know, depends on what kind of porn together, I watch. Like exactly. <laughs> if I find it good, good and I get really yeah. good and I want to keep yeah, on exactly. going. Yeah. Okay, it takes me like three hours to find a really good porn. <laughs> Y'all don't know what I'm talking about, do you? Yes, I do. You touched yourself the other day. But no, before <laughs> that. <laughs> How many times a day do you touch yourself? Only, no, I mean, not every day, just when I miss Eric, because I turn do that on camera. I finger myself too, Sarah. Wait, did you really touch? I finger myself with my hand. I don't know. Oh, I have like a bunny I rabbit know. dildo. I what the fuck? I wanted one of those. So bad. Masturbation, which a lot of us, you know, everyone does it, whether they admit it or not. So I joined this class. The first set of exercises is masturbation witnessing. She says, well, you looked like you were having a really good time with yourself there. You were laughing and giggling, and so, you know, thought maybe you'd want to do this for the crowd. This is a part of my sexuality that I have only ever shared with one other person at a time, and I just agreed to do it in front of 25 people. So a few moments later, I'm down the street at the Whole Foods. Like, I, I just fingered myself in front of 25 strangers. Hi, my name is Sapphire. My boyfriend's going to ask me some questions, and I'm going to answer them. Okay, question one. Do you masturbate? Yes, I masturbate. Who do you think masturbates more, men or women? <laughs> I feel that both men and women masturbate around the same. Yeah, we are both big believers yeah. in playing with yourself. I, I love it. You love it. Like it's a whether you're in a relationship or whether you're on your own. I think it's mm -hmm. a really, a really important part to your sexual happiness. Um, Definitely. And you know, even from a young young age, like I was masturbating when I was really really young, sort of like eleven, twelve, thirteen. Same. It, it's completely normal to play with yourself. You know, you're you're doing stuff to yourself that makes you feel nice and good. Yeah. You know, there's nothing wrong with playing with yourself, so don't let anybody tell you otherwise. I really like edging, which is when you bring yourself to, or like, just close to orgasm, but you stop. Bye! Bye.